Hey guys, and welcome back to Silent Hill 4. When we last left off, well, I think we finished um, Forest World, or whatever the fuck they call it. Uh, now, we are back at home, but I'm not really sure what we're doing. Yeah, what's called Forest World, I thought so. It's so weird, like they're calling them worlds, but hey ho diddly dee. Now... Uh, I'm guessing we're going to go back out into the hall and see where we end up this time. Come on, Henry. Let's go. The hall has changed again. And I think I can hear children's voices. Uh, okay. Yeah, this hall is definitely getting bigger. Uh-oh. That's not good. Maybe it is good, depending on how you like your holes, I suppose. And man, that's a can of worms. Oh. Where are we now? that all right buddy we're on the way well that doesn't sound bloody good now does it right well I mean I guess we've got like two ways to, oh god yeah we've got two ways to go can hear somebody screaming for their lives um, kill me. Walter's gonna kill me. Walter. He's gonna kill me. Who are you? It's locked. Can we not like talk to you? I guess not. All right. Well, so we've got like a crazy man. Oh, these are all doors. Holy shit! So we've got a crazy man that Walter's gonna kill. Locked up. Can we go through any of these? The lock is broken. I can't open the door. Okay. There's a sloppy written note on the ground. Well, let's have a little look, Harry. Lucky. I finally escaped from the cell. I decided to take a careful look around the building. The scarcest place, or the scariest place, was the first floor basement. There's a kitchen in the northeast, but next to the door in the northeast is a death chamber. To get in there, you have to punch in the right numbers. I don't know the numbers, and it was too dark to even see the panel, so I didn't go in. Alright. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Buddy, if you want a little bit of comfort, alright, matey, we're all gonna die. Oh. Oh, there's like worms on the floor. Yeah, we'll take the pistol bullets. Graffiti. It still looks like a kid's writing. I'm being watched from the middle of the room. There's like a bug on the slug thing. Something about the ambience. It's just fucking crazy. So, uh, there's a kid. There's a lot of, um, uh, stuff to do with kids in this game. Oh, wiggly worms! Whoa, they've got like heads attached. The fuck is that about? All right, guess we killed them all. All right, it's just another bloody room. God knows what they were. I mean, they didn't even seem like they were dangerous, to be fair. Oh, we've got another note. And it looks like... And it looks like we have a noose. 
Something's written. I'm sick of being watched. Dude. That's dark. And I do love the map in this game. So what is all this about then? It's obviously some kind of prison. Get the hell out of here. Yeah, alright buddy, we're trying, okay? <clears throat> Nothing in here but these leech things. We can't stand on them either, which is a little bit disappointing. It would have been nice if we could fully like squish them. Um Okay, so we've only got one door to try. So there's an execution chamber. So yeah, it's got to be some kind of prison then. Ah, and there's a way home straight away. It's a sloppily written note. To get to the surveillance rooms in the middle of this complex, you have to use the corpse disposal chutes in the cells. However, on the uh, first and second floors, these cells are locked. That's so the kids wouldn't discover them. Kids? So you have to get to the first floor from one of the cells on the third floor. I know how to do it, but it's really a pain. Also, the lights only work on the third floor. So that's useful. So I guess we're going to need some kind of torch. Looks like there's a ladder there. Is that another door? Yeah, there's another door. Is that a ladder? It's something. All right, let's go back anyway. Let's go back and save the game. Now we've made some progress. We can find out what this world is called Prison World or something. Oh, the hole has changed again. It's now got tiles, like the prison. That's really cool. It is a shame that we have this wake up like animation every fucking time. Sounds like something was. TV's on. I don't remember turning this on. We didn't. Even when I turn the power off, the screen stays on. Uh oh. There's trouble afoot. Uh, let's... So this is the start of whatever this world's called. <laughs> oh, water prison world. Water prison world. All right. Oh, and there's a note here as well. Maybe it's a good thing we came back. There's a scrap of red paper stuck here. Who keeps putting these notes under the door? Lately, I've been feeling like my life is in serious danger. I've been through a lot in my life, but I've never felt this kind of pure animal fear. In case something happens to me, I've decided to write down what I've learnt for whoever you are that's living in the apartment now. I've been investigating the mass murder that took place seven years ago in which ten people were killed in ten days. So whoever was before us is the investigator. They were killed in a variety of ways, but the one thing they all had in common was that each corpse had, a fo had the following numbers in order of their deaths in carved into them. R right... So I was right then. The name of their killer, it was carved in as well. His name was Walter Sullivan. Called it. Kind of. Did I actually say that Walter was probably the killer? No, I didn't say that. I, th I think I just said that um, I think this was his apartment. But obviously it wasn't his apartment though. Because... This apartment belonged to the chief, I guess. And another thing I've noticed about this game. We haven't had any bosses yet. And, like, I mean, it's safe to say we haven't had any real enemies yet. You know, we've had a few dogs and the ghosts. But nothing else. Now, right, let's go back.
Yeah, we're going into the hole. So the detective was after Walter. And did that say water prison or did it say Walter prison? And he looked at it briefly. Right, well, anyway. Um, so we've got two doors there. We're going to go right first. Because <clears throat> right is always the right way to go. Apart from the fact it's locked. But we can go left. Oh. We've got a ladder. Straight away there's a ladder. Apparently there's a ladder... The other side as well. Oh, oh, got those things again. Ah, oh, those things fucking suck. Can we attack it? We can. Right, come here, you little fucking dick. Right, we can actually kill those things. Oh, only temporarily. All right. Can outrange them though. Whoa, we got like when we won. Okay, we've got a hell of a hitbox on this thing. Can we just keep? Oh, we can actually completely kill them eventually. That's interesting. Oh, fuck. Listen to that like awful music. That awful ambience is horrible. In a good way, of course. All right, let's try and kill this fucking thing. Glad that we can actually kill these. Really didn't want to be dealing with another enemy that was invincible. Come here, yeah, you dick. You actual dick. I hope these actually stay dead as well. Oh, we can interrupt their attack, which is nice. Come on, you little bastard. You look like a little snot goblin. A little clear snot goblin. Oh, you're dead now. Oh. Okay. So this just goes round in like a perfect circle. I like the way we can kill enemies and the ones that we can actually kill stay dead. I'm a fan of this. Because I hate enemies that constantly come back. And unkillable enemies, for that matter. Right, so there's a ladder there. Let's try this one first. Yeah, I mean, I guess we're going to go down. We don't appear to have anything else to do, so we've got that door there. Oh, wait. I want ah this looks like we're going up slightly. I wonder if this door's locked. No, it isn't. Um All right, we'll leave that. Let's go up first then. Cuz that looks like the way we definitely need to go. Question mark. So what's back this way? And also, where does the other ladder lead, then? What is that? Well, we're hearing lots of roaring. Oh, that ladder goes up. Of course it does. What an idiot I am. Alright, well, let's go back down anyway. Okay. Let's see what we've got going on in here. There's definitely some kind of monster in there somewhere. Well, I'm sure we're going to put our foot up his ass eventually. It's a key. Take the key? Uh, yeah. Oh, it is water prison. Exit key. Key found in the water wheel room. Up is carved into it. 
Alright, I mean... Ah, bloody hell. That's fairly descriptive, I suppose. Can we be bothered to kill these? I mean, I suppose. I suppose. Come on. Come to Papa. Squish. I love that sound effect when we squish them. It's so satisfying. Yeah, they look like... Like, what are these things? I mean, I thought they were bats, but they kind of look like big moths. And I don't like moths. I really don't like moths. Now, is there any goodies around here? There's another way out. There's no actual goodies per se. I wonder if anything's changed back home. But either way, I suppose we could go back and get some health back. Yeah, there's no goodies at all. But there is another way down. Come here, you little bastard. Come here. Come to Papa. Boom. There we go. Right, well, I don't think we've killed them all, but... Uh, I don't know if anything's changed at home, but I don't think it really matters too much. Let's go through here. Ooh. Looks like a bloody great big generator. But what does it do? The generator isn't working, so I guess we've got to power the generator up. Have we? The transformer isn't working. Okay. Now this just looks like a massive door with the ungodly symbol on it. I can't open it very wide. Oh shit, look at this. It's a fucking massive door. Okay, well. But it looks like it's got a little slot in it there. Can we. No, I can't use that there. Okay. Uh, okay, well, we've got a fucking great big massive door that's got a slot in it, so... Okay. And this door... Oh, no, this door's exactly the same. It's just smaller. It looks like they've used the same texture. Which is a little bit on the cheap side. But, whatever. Um, Our health is a little bit lacking, so... Yeah, let's go get some health back. There's no point, really, in not going around with full health. Even if it is a little bit of a ball ache to do this. Keep doing this, I should say. I suppose it doesn't take too long, does it? Alright, there we go. Come on, health. At least we didn't have a lot to regen. If you have to come back here when you're missing loads of health, then yeah, I imagine that would suck. Right, let's go back in. Enter the hole. Yes, please. We're like a rat down a drain pipe, aren't we, Cloud? Oh, you sleepy kitty. Was you a sleepy Gus today? All you've done is sleep all day. Literally. <laughs> Sleepy kitty. Right, okay. So now we're topped back up on health. Let's get out. Oh, hello. You know what? Are you the last... No, you're not the last one in the room. Ah, fuck. He's on to us. He's on to us. Harry, remember your training. Oh, it's like bloody... Yeah, there we go. feel like uh, Luke Skywalker. Aboard the Millennium Falcon, when uh, Obi Wan's training him with the drone. Come on, come on, you little fuck! Come on, you little fucks! Oh shit! He's still getting back up, even though like I pounded him when he was on the floor. <laughs> that sounds bad. You know what? Let's just stop playing with these guys. But it's so much fun! I want to kill everything. God damn it! But we're just wasting health at this point. So, let's get out of here. Right, let's go back up the ladder. Uh, there wasn't anything else down here, was there?
No. No, so let's go upstairs. There was another ladder, I'm sure. But... Right, up here, because that's... Yeah, only this one. Yeah, I see, because that's the ladder that we came in from. I got here, so we can go up and we can go down. Right. So now this should be the third floor. Was this the... F no, this is the first floor, I see. That's B1. That's B2. We need to go to floor 3, so I'm guessing... We can go back through here. And where's the ladder? There's like a ladder symbol in here somewhere. Or am I just going crazy? Am I going crazy? That is a ladder there. That we're literally on. Like, should be one here. Or is it in the other room? Okay, I'm really confused. So where is the other ladder? Right on the A button, there's the ladder there, but apparently it's not there. Uh, Alright, well. Okay, well in that case, let's just go back out here. No, that's the wrong way. That door is locked. Oh, we got a key now. Ah, right, okay. So we've used that key, but before we do that, what's all the way this way? So these guys do come back. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is just the round. Can you fuck off, dude? There we go. We got him. We got him. Fuck you, pal. Yeah, so I guess that does slowly go down. I don't know. That's weird. That hurts my head. So you can... Mm, don't think about it. Don't think about it. You're in Silent Hill. Um... Okay. No. No, hang on. That's not right. So we can go down that ladder, or... Oh, I hate these guys. They're so annoying. Fuck off. Or... We can go down this way. And that takes us to the same place. So what's in the middle? Oh. This is confusing. Door won't open. Seems like it's locked from the inside. Ah, okay, so this is actually a different area. Even though it looks the same. So this is B1. That's F1. And that's B2. So that leads down to B2, if I'm right. Yes. So that's going to lead back up. So where? I'm guessing this leads up to F1. <coughs> Excuse me. 
Yeah, so basically all that ladder does is allow you to skip uh, the hands or the guys that are coming out of the wall. So, I mean, I guess that kind of makes sense. Ooh, ah! There's another ladder there. Can we use it? I mean, we can. But what's this way? Oh. Oh, fuck. I was like, ooh, what's that cool thing? On the bloody wall. It's these bats. Of course it's these bats. What else would it be? Piss off you. You can get fucked. Shit. Well, at least we can knock these guys down. That pleases me internally. Hopefully they make a nice squish at the bottom. There we go. He's down. Damn it. You could have fell to your grave, you ungrateful bastard. I guess we're going up. What? But the fuck? Okay. Man, this place is a maze. Ah, more bats. That's right, they haven't noticed us. Holy shit. We can go through here. Where is that on the map? That's the third floor. I don't know where to start exploring first. I mean, there is actually light at the end of the tunnel here. And this is a horrible camera angle. Okay, come on. Now we can go down there, which is nice. Oh, what's here? Ooh. Well, this is quite fancy. Now, is there any goodies here? Doesn't look like it. There's no goodies anywhere in this game. Such like a lack of anything. So this is the roof floor. Right, got you. And there's sod all up here. Although I'm guessing we need to do something up here. There's a handle here. Will you turn it? Yeah, why not? I have literally no idea what that's going to do. It's going to flood something, I guess. But maybe we need that to get the generator going. Oh. Okay, I guess it's just like making the water flow. Which might turn the turbine and keep the generator going. Won't door. Looks like this. Okay, that's locked from the inside. So, let's go all the way back down. I mean, where does this ladder go? Let me guess. Go up, go down, go down. Oh, right, yeah, this is... That's where we came from. Alright, so it all kind of just like loops right round. Don't worry, Harry, I'm just as fucking confused as you are. Well, I'm not as confused as I was, so... You know, I mean, there's that. Oh, there's these weird brain head things. Like, what even are these? They're fucked up. They don't appear to attack us, to be fair. So that's good. There's all these slugs everywhere as well. Did that hurt us? Yeah, oh, okay. It hurts you if you walk into them. So I suppose that's good to know. Lock is broken. Nice. 
There's something written on the paper. It looks like a kid's writing. I peed in my pants. Gotta wash them so nobody finds out. Oh, I just saw a shadow. I think no one saw me. Well, I mean, there's his washed clothes, but... Okay. Lock is broken. Lock is broken. Oh, ho, ho, fuck. That's cool. So we can kill those things. Ooh. The bottle's filled with black powder. So can we not, like, take them? Bottle's filled with black powder. See, logic is telling me that they're, like, gunpowder or something? It's graffiti. It doesn't look like it was written by an adult. Picking my nose a lot. Uh, good for you, kid, I guess. So, it seems like a lot of kids were, were trapped here. Got another... Another book to read. It's a diary. I've been watching the surveillance room's peephole. So I said peephole then. I was like, wait, what? Uh, the whole time. And sometimes he's there. I can tell because I see a shadow move or hear his footsteps. Okay. Who's there, though? Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, these things do attack. Oh, there's a lot of leeches. I wonder what that symbolizes. I mean, I suppose it could symbolize a lot of things. Human maggots, maybe? Human leeches? Who knows? Uh, that's also broken. Right, so we've fully mapped out this area. We know... We've got... Um... What are the blue things on the map? We know we've got um, black powder, but it's not marked on the map, so I don't think there's like that's useful or relevant to anything. So let's head back for now and see if we can go up to another one of these areas, because there's got to be like a floor two. Because it did mention that we need to go to floor three. Now, have we explored this one? No. So we need to go to floor three to get to the basement of floor one, I think it said. Ooh. There are clothes lying here. Right, so the lights are on in here. For some reason, that was more ominous, even though the lights were, were on. It was actually... Ooh, okay. Well, let's destroy these brains. And you might be able to hear the dog going nuts outside. Well, out in the hallway, I should say. So these are literally like brains. On stems. It's so weird. I wonder what that symbolizes. I might look up some of the symbology. Like, once I've completed this game. There we go. Cool. Right, so what have we got here? I wonder if this is going to be more children. It's a diary. We had beef stew yesterday in the cafeteria. I heard there's a death chamber behind the kitchen. And they take meat straight from the dead people and cook it. That really scared me. Damn. Prison diary. I'm in trouble. I stood in front of the surveillance room and yelled as loud as I could, but nobody came out. What, you're in trouble because you did that? Or you're in trouble anyway? Oh, what the fucking Jesus is that? Jesus. It's like a double person thing. 
Okay, they're not actually that hard. But can we kill it permanently? I was not expecting to see an enemy like that here. That was cool. Ooh. Oh. Uh, no. Do I want to go... Well, I don't know if we can even go down there. Let's see. It's a hole. Jump in? No, not yet. Let's continue exploring this floor first. Okay, so it looks like they stay dead, which is good. I was just about to say fucking ghosts, but they're not ghosts. That's fine. Oh, there's bullets there. I want the bullets. Oi. You are not standing between me and some ammo, mate. Or maybe you are a little bit. Ouch. He's going to be a dick to get at. Ouch. God damn it. Come on. Fuck you, you utter gobshite. Now give me the bullets. Give me the bullets. Why is it so hard to pick ammo up? Okay. Let me ask all this in here. Got a nice little stock of hang on bullets now. Ooh. There's more clothing. There's a lot of clothing. Missed that. There's something written on the paper. Now it will look like I'm sleeping. Huh? Where are those footsteps? I wonder if they saw me. This is a very weird prison, man. Like, I don't know what's going on here, but it's... Oh, fuck! Another one of these things. But then these things aren't exactly tough, so... In fact, these things really aren't very tough. Oh! I mean, they do kind of hurt a little bit. Not very scary, though. Kind of look a bit stupid. Is that hole again? Oh, that's, no, that's another hole. I guess we've got a choice of holes to jump into. Got three holes to jump into. Oh, we still got one more room to check. Could be four holes at this rate. Hmm. No, okay. Got lots of books on the floor. Can we actually read any of these? Logic would say yes, we can, but no. I think we're on like 38 minutes. Holy shit. We need to find a save room. Really getting into this. They're weird enemies, though. I don't know what to think about them. Let's try this hole, shall we? Yes. I hope we go in somewhere good. Okay, so that actually just leads us into a random hole. So I guess once you've jumped in, the only way is to keep going down. Guessing one of these choices is the right choice, the others are the wrong choice. Oh, fuck. Actually legitimately made me jump. So we're in the shower room. Ah, it's unlocked. Where does that lead? Ah. I want to check that place out, but now that's unlocked too. Oh, cool. Right, so that's B1, shower room. So I'm guessing all of these go to a different area. Well, those pipes always blue, because there's one. One pipe is broken. 
Well, maybe a couple of pipes are broken. That's why you've got the splash there. Okay. Now, where was the way out of here? First floor. Okay, so let's go back to the first floor. Because I want to save. And I want to get some health back. Because I want to go back into that room. And to go back into that room, we're going to want to kill everything. To kill everything, we need to be on full health. So, guys. I'm going to go back. I'm going to go regen my health. I'm going to save the game. When we come back, we're going to continue exploring. So... Just in case, just in case something actually happens. Nope, I think we're good. We're just going to sit here, regen. I'm going to go save, and then we're going to carry on. So, thanks for watching, guys, and as always, till next time.